Black women in hair have a very complicated history to say the least, and we can't get it all and get into it all this morning. So let's just fast forward to today and how in 2021, we need a law to stop discrimination against people of color who choose to wear their hair in natural styles. And just last week, Louisville, Kentucky joined the growing number of cities banning hair discrimination against, and that was under the Crown Act, which stands for creating a respectful and open world for natural hair. From locks to afros to braids, they're awesome. And these are just some of our colleagues behind the scenes here at BNC. They are beautiful, they are amazing, but not everyone is lucky enough to work where they are not only accepted, but celebrated. Molly Hunter is the president and owner of the Retina Agency, and she wants to make sure that this, that you see there on your screen is the norm across the country. Good morning, Molly. Thank you so much for joining us on BNC. Welcome to BNC. Good morning. Thanks for having me. I'm so, so grateful for this. 13 states. No, we are so happy to have you. And, and you know, and I'm sure you know about this, there are 13 states and dozens of cities that ban texture discrimination. And that means it's legal in 37 states. So why is the Crown Act so important to you and just honestly so important to us here in the black community? Well, it's important for me. Um, I'm the founder of the Earth Girl Movement, which is a group of women across the country that really celebrate women of color. Um, and I was introduced to the Crown Act by Dove, which they were the first to really support the Earth Girl Movement in 2008. And, you know, we come together as women. Our motto is we are not victims. We lift as we rise. We support one another. So. Um, a dear friend owns Joy Agency, and those women over at Joy got together with Dove, and they decided, you know, we need to do something. So after many, many years of lobbying and, and really coming together to let people know that this is a real challenge that we're having, um, I have worn my hair natural for 20 years, and you know, seeing some of the discrimination that's happening, not just in schools, but in the workplace, it's just disheartening. This is the way God made us. And I feel like, you know, we should be able to represent um, ourselves and be natural and, and do what we need to do to just enjoy our lives without having the challenge of people, you know, really coming against us for the way that God made us. So I think it's important you know, for me, there are times where I make my hair straight. There are times where I wear my hair in braids. And I, I do often wear my hair out natural. Um, so for, for me, it's important to fight for women's rights um, all the way around. And this is just another, you know, situation where I think we can all come together and sign a simple petition that says, you know, no more. We don't want to have to fight anymore. So it's important that we all come together mm -hmm. no matter what race and you know support the idea that it's okay to be yourself yeah and molly you know it's not just about looks hair discrimination can have a real economic impact and like you said dove has been spearheading the crown act and that's been since 2019 and a survey found let's take a look at these numbers black women are 80 percent more likely than white women to say that they need to change their hair from its natural state to fit in at the office Black women are also one and a half times more likely to be sent home from work over their hair. And black women are also 3.4 times more likely to have their hair seen as unprofessional. So what does this all mean for black women in the workplace? Because Molly, I mean, we've all dealt with it at some point or people questioning your hairstyle or why is your hair like that? Even some people touching your hair, it's so inappropriate. <laughs> I know when I was younger, I had experiences of little girls literally coming up, touching my hair and asking me why it's so greasy. So just talking about why it is so important to have that conversation about the workplace experience specifically, but also in schools too, because I know that younger girls deal with it as well. Well, you know, it's really important, I think, for us to teach our young girls to be proud of who they are and to be okay with being natural and I'll tell you, you talk about the workplace. I remember when I started and you know, everybody knows me from being in the music industry. I'm an artist, I'm a producer, but I also um, 
I started my music career in advertising in Chicago. I grew up in Waukegan in North Chicago, and I, I cut my teeth in the music industry and advertising in the city. And I will tell you, there were many times where some of the creative directors would say, Molly, you cannot wear your hair like this. My boss is not going to give you the job. And I had to do something different with my natural hair just so I could um, camouflage myself to get the job. And I remember, you know, saying, you know, this isn't this isn't what I want to do in life. I don't want to, you know, if they can't see me for who I am and and allow me to be what God made me, I'm, I don't want to be in this business. So it was discouraging, you know. So for me, I think the importance of teaching our young girls that mm -hmm. this is the way they do. You, no one should discriminate against you because of the texture. You know, the way that we wear our hair is important. It's a, it's a, you know, it's like putting on your clothes. You wear your clothes and it, it's, it's a representation of how you feel today. We talked earlier about what colors you, you wanted to that. wear today. Got royal purple on, but you know, the way we, <laughs> the way we wear our crowns is so important mm -hmm. and the way we teach our young girls are even more important. I think we have to start with the toddlers and say, you know, this is, this is the way God made you. You are going to have people, you know, like you said, coming up to try to touch your hair. And these are the do's and right. don'ts and the way that we communicate with others of different cultures about our hair. It's important to have those, you know, have the conversations. Molly, you are so right. It is important and you are important in the work that you're doing. We are so happy that you joined us on BNC. Molly Hunter, president and owner of the Retina agency just thank you so much for starting your day with us thank you so much for just spreading that positivity and keep the work up thank you i'm so grateful to be here you guys have a wonderful morning thanks for having me